Yeah, okay. here? Yeah. So, Luke, um, yeah, tell me about what, what we've done at Stockholm World Water Week with video. Uh, thanks, Mark. My name is Luke. Uh, by the way, I work for uh, ACFO. And uh, what have we done? Uh, we set up a nice water cube, uh, which is a transparent cube, where you can uh, come and join and tell your story on video. And so uh, that's the basic idea. And so what you're doing right now, we do with everyone who comes and joins so us. So the cube kind of cut the noise out to the, a degree, the, yeah? Yeah. Um, because there's a lot of background noise in the exhibition hall, but also did it, it kind of gave people a focus, yeah, so that they knew there was something interesting. We lured them in. Exactly. And we always said to people who come to us, you get one take and that's it. Uh, and so people then start saying, oh, what am I going to say? Okay. So everything, everything that we film goes online, yeah? Everything goes online right afterwards. So we do the video right now, and I don't think we'll do it here <laughs> exactly, but we upload it on uh, YouTube, and then later that day people can come back and see their video online. So um, what kind of... Because, um, well, we've done a lot of these videos now, haven't we? I think like 500, right? Uh, Something, yeah, I think 450. Done, I think we've done 500. And, oh, yeah, no, yeah, 400, 450, 450, 450 yeah. 500. Yeah. Um, what sort of response has there been from people on, you know, at well, the event? I think it's actually been quite uh, positive responses. And, uh, and like I was saying is that people get a chance to tell their story in three minutes and you get a completely different story than the usual PR stuff. Oh, yeah, I work for this company and we do all this important stuff. You tend people just say, hey, this is what I do and this is what I think is important. And so you get very varied, yeah. So, so were the people that were very uncomfortable with this, you know, that, that, that said, oh, I, I shouldn't have said that or, oh, I, I, oh, well, oh, I just got know, all this wrong. Most people are uncomfortable, but then I always say it's like a shot. It's, before you know, it's over before you know it. So <laughs> then, uh, and then once it's done, they're fine with it. But, uh, yeah, they are a bit nervous when they come in and you have a camera in front of your face. They so, are nervous. So what's the response? I mean, because, you know, you, you partly grew up in Africa and... Um, I've, I've always, you know, you, you will always, in terms of people who are African, who are kind of often coming from, you know, regional or local yeah. NGOs sometimes, what sort of response do they have to it? Well, actually, they thought it was really cool because they came in the morning, we shot the video, it went online, and then they came in the afternoon and they saw that 10 people had looked at the video. Yeah. They're like, so 10 people have seen me talk about water? So, yeah. yeah. So, but some people would say, well, 10 people? I mean, who cares? What would you say to that? Well, 10 is more than zero, right? <laughs> so I don't know, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I found one of the things that's been really f amazing as well as you, because we caption everything really carefully, yeah. don't we, in YouTube, yeah. so that you can Google their name and yeah. organization, and often that video will appear. Yeah, in the top 10. Yeah. So if you Google Luke, and then you, I think it'll be number one or number two, one yeah. of my videos. Yeah. yeah. So um, great. Well, thanks a lot. Thanks. Thanks, Mark.